Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about Azure AD audit logs and sign-in logs. In this particular video, we will be talking about device management. We will understand what is device identity, what is Azure AD device registration, and I will demonstrate to you how to register a device with Azure Active Directory. A device identity is an object in Azure Active Directory, like we have users, groups, or applications in Azure AD. Similarly, devices are also an object in Azure Active Directory. There are three ways you can add a device to Azure AD as a device identity. Azure AD registration, Azure AD join, and hybrid Azure AD join. This particular video is focused on Azure AD registered devices. We will cover Azure AD joint devices and hybrid Azure AD joint devices in upcoming videos. So let's understand what is Azure AD registered device and how does it work? Azure AD registered devices are the personal devices. These are also called bring your own device. The supported operating system for Azure AD registered devices are Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. So if a user has a personal computer or a personal mobile phone, he can register that device with Azure AD. The user will log into these devices with his personal account, but during registration process, he will have to enter his Azure AD credentials. So let's understand how device registration process works. When a user will try to register a personal device with Azure AD, he will enter his Azure AD credentials within the device. Then Azure AD will perform authentication on this user account. And once user is authenticated, this device will get registered in Azure AD and a device identity will be created in Azure Active Directory. And during this process, Azure AD will push a certificate to this device so that Azure Active Directory can trust this particular device. And once this registration process is completed, single sign-on feature will be enabled on this device. That means when this user will try to log into portal.office.com or any Office 365 application, this user will not be asked to enter his credentials. So once a device identity is created in Azure Active Directory, you can manage this device using MGM or MAM policies using Intune. Or you can control the access of these devices using conditional access policies. So let's move towards our lab and let's register a device with Azure AD. In this demo, I'm going to register this Windows 10 machine with Azure Active Directory. I'm logged into this machine with my personal account. That means this is a personal device and this is a work group machine. This machine is not joined to any domain. So let's go to Azure Active Directory. In Azure Active Directory, I have created one user with name Bob Ross. I'm going to register that Windows 10 machine with this particular account. Let's go to devices. As of now, I do not see any device that is registered or joined with this particular tenant. So let's go back to machine. So as we discussed, when we register a device with Azure AD, a certificate is pushed to that particular device. You can go to MMC or Certificate Management Console. And from here, you will add certificates. Certificates, personal. Under personal, we do not see any certificate as of now. And let's go to command prompt. Let's run dsreg cmd slash status. We use this command to check the registration status. So it says Azure AD joined no, enterprise joined no, domain joined is set to no as well, and workplace joined is set to no. That means this device is not registered with Azure Active Directory. And let me show you the host name as well. The host name of this device is desktop. 
8 mm b5 q0 so let's minimize the command prompt and now let's go to settings go to accounts click access work or school and then click connect Now here you need to type the credentials of Azure Active Directory user. The one that I just created. I'm going to use this particular account to register this device. So type the user principal name, click next. Enter the password. So it says while we register this device with your company and apply policy. So now this device is getting registered with Azure Active Directory. So it says we have added your account successfully. You now have access to your organization's apps and services. Click on done. Now you will see this account under work or school account. Now let's go to certificates. And let's refresh. Now we can see this certificate that is issued by MS Organization Access. Let's go to Azure Active Directory and let's go to devices, all devices. So we can see one device identity has been created in Azure Active Directory. Under operating system, you can see it's Windows device. Under version, you can see the version of operating system and join type says Azure AD registered and the owner of the device is Bob Ross. That means the account that was used within this device during the registration process, that account belongs to Bob Ross. Now, if you go to users and click on the user Bob Ross and then go to devices, here you can see the device that is associated with Bob Ross account. Now let's go back to machine and let's run dsregcmd slash status and now here you can see workplace joint is set to yes that means this device is registered to azure active directory now let me show you one more thing let's double click on this certificate and let's go to azure active directory open this device now here you can see one device id it starts with d92 ends with ae4 now go back to the certificate so you can see this particular certificate is issued to d92 ends with ae4 which is the device id of the device that we just registered to azure active directory so this certificate is associated with the device and if you want to check the event viewer logs you can go to event viewer in event viewer logs you will go to application and service logs under applications and services logs you will go to microsoft windows and then look for user device registration. User device registration and then click admin. Now here you can see the logs related to device registration. So the log name is Microsoft Windows user device registration and the status is the discovery request send operation was successful. Next same registration log and you can see the discovery operation callback was successful the initialization of the join request was successful the join request was successfully sent to the server these are the logs during the registration process here you can see the thumbprint of the certificate that was pushed to the device during the registration process and you can see other logs and then it says the complete join response operation was successful. So if you are facing any trouble while registering the device to Azure Active Directory, you can always refer to event viewer logs. 
and based on the event ID or the error code, you can troubleshoot it further. So now let's try to access portal.office.com. And as we discussed, I should not get a prompt to enter my username or password. So you can see I'm logged in and I didn't enter my username or password. Because when you register a device with Azure Active Directory, it enables single sign on feature on that particular device. So if you will try to access any Office 365 application like portal.office.com or portal.azure.com, you will not have to enter your username and password. So this is how device registration works in Azure Active Directory. In the next video, we will be talking about Azure AD joined devices and I will demonstrate to you how to join a device with Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.